Hi friends, um, continuing on from the previous tutorials in which I covered the uh, Caesar cipher or, or OT13 cipher. So I think this is the fifth part that I'm covering. This is the fourth or the fifth one. So in the previous tutorials, uh, if you haven't watched it, what I did was I created a, uh, this program or this script that took inputs from the user and uh, shifted by, it by a certain characters. So in the previous uh, tutorial, uh, what I did was I added these this, these two lines what it did was that it checked if the character was greater than or less than 26 so if it was greater than 26 so let's run this and let's type in something like hello if the character was like let's say 23 it uh, shifted it by 23 characters or if it typed in hello and something like 44 it showed as an error so whenever uh, it was until up uh, up to 26 character it would have uh, accepted it uh, up to 26 so we could have shifted it by 26 characters this is one way of doing it so however in the previous tutorial I explained it uh, that uh, this is not the good way of doing it the right way of doing it uh, so why I'm demonstrating it is because I want you guys to understand how step by step it works so it's like as I said this is the fifth tutorial so I explained everything one by one how to like make a basic program and how to change it so what it did was it changed the location of it uh, one by one, I explained each of these lines in the previous tutorials. If you don't understand how it works, you can watch my previous tutorials. So this is <coughs> uh, for this one. Uh, what uh, previously I typed in that if a statement, but that's not the uh, right way or correct way of doing it. The correct way of doing it would be to use this uh, modulus operator. So what it did in this part was that. Uh, if we put in uh, these two variables inside a, a parenthesis or should I say inside the brackets and uh, what we type is like percentage 26 what it does is that no matter how much as I showed in here let me open it again in here we saw that up to 23 24 it worked but when we increased when we got the or we entered more than 26 it showed this error so what it does it does is divides it by 26 and it takes the module value of it or the modular value of it so if uh, let's say we divide it by uh, 20 something by 26 and then the remainder is one it will take one so what this uh, modulus operator that is that uh, it checks the remainder of it so this way no matter what input you type it will never exceed the characters 26 sorry it will never exceed uh, yes it will never exceed 26 it will come up to 25 and then 26 but it will never uh, become higher than 26 or 27 or those characters uh, those numbers so you're not characters so this is the correct way of doing it previously what i did was the fs statement it wasn't the correct way of it but i demonstrated anyway so that you could you guys could understand how something works like step by step how you make a program or a script and how you change it so let's save this and run it so in here what I do is I save this in here and I bring it up so this time if you run this program and we type in something like hello in here you saw that when I entered 44 it showed us an error because it was greater than 26 however if we do the same in here we can see that it works let's type in this type in hello and let's say it's something like we are doing it by 300 it doesn't show us an error we type in ABC we do it by let's say 3000 it works let's do it again and type in hello and type in like five to uh, five thousand five hundred fifty five it works so no matter what number you enter uh, it works so this guys this line this is what I changed in this tutorial and this line I removed the previous if, uh, statements so this is the correct way of doing it uh, this is uh, one way of doing it <laughs> Uh, so this is it for this tutorial guys. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, this is all that I will be covering for this Caesar cipher uh, I Hope you found it educative and uh, if you have any questions or you didn't understand any part, particular part of it Or if you have any recommendations or suggestions or if you there's something else uh, that you want me to cover feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one